this is a BMAX computer. Um, there's two versions of this computer. There's the 11.6 inch and the 13.3 inch version. This one's the 11.6 inch version. So this is what I'll be talking about in today's video. So looking on Amazon for a similar model to this computer, I came across the Lenovo 300e WinBook. And here's the thing, the BMAX is $30 cheaper, which is not a lot, but it also has twice the RAM, it has an SSD with four times the capacity, and the processor also has a much better benchmark score. So hopefully in this video today, I can help you decide if going with a relatively unknown BMAX brand is worth going over something more well-known like Lenovo. The computer comes pretty neatly packaged and overall has a pretty nice look to it. Rather than having a detachable keyboard, the keyboard can flip completely back if you want to use this in tablet mode. There are ports for micro USB and micro HDMI. There is also a USB-C port, so you can use this with a USB-C hub if you prefer using standard sizes for USB and HDMI. The other side of this laptop has the power button and a volume rocker. There's also a 3.5 millimeter audio jack if you prefer using that instead of something like Bluetooth. This computer comes with Windows 10 pre-installed. And when I use this computer, I almost always use it with a USB-C hub so that I can use an external monitor and mouse. The trackpad has two levels of clicks, but I find it requires a good amount of force to press it. And despite its small size with the keyboard, I find it fairly easy and comfortable to type on. So for a budget computer, I find this to be pretty responsive and fast for basic tasks. So I actually tried a few different games on this and I found that it performs great for really basic 3D games, but for something more resource intensive like Super Tux Kart, the performance was really quite poor and choppy. So while this might work for some basic games, it's definitely not a machine for most modern games. This is not going to be your new gaming laptop anytime soon. I'm actually kind of a fan of the 11.6 inch size. It works really well as a tablet and the computer switches really easily back and forth between tablet and normal mode. The trackpad allows for multi-finger gestures and actually works quite well. So what do I like about this BMAX computer? For one, for the price, the specs are actually really quite impressive. And really the overall performance of this computer is perfectly fine for basic tasks like browsing the web or watching YouTube videos or other multimedia. Uh, it's, it's a perfectly good computer for your most common tasks. I also really like the size of the trackpad and I like that it does multi-finger gestures. I also really like the size and feel of this computer when it's in tablet mode. I think it's a really good size to use as a tablet. And when it's in computer mode, it is small, but it's big enough that I can use it normally. This is really nice for when you're watching TV or something, you can just have a really small computer to work on to do some basic things if you need to. Okay, so what do I not like about this computer? Uh, probably my biggest complaint with this is the clicking on the trackpad. Uh, if you've ever used a MacBook that has an amazing trackpad, the trackpad on this is going to just feel horrible. You really kind of have to press down hard to, to get it to press. It just doesn't feel great. The responsiveness itself for just tapping and doing multi-finger gestures is, is fine, but the clicking, mm, yeah, not as much. Something else I don't like about this 11.6 inch model in particular, it has no backlight for the keyboard. So the keys are kind of hard to, to see. The, the, the keys are gray and the lettering is white and depending on the lighting, it's kind of hard to, to make out the keyboard. And lastly, I, I'm not a fan of the webcam location. It like points up at your neck. It's kind of awkward. Um, it's right here. This is the webcam. Yeah, it's, it's not a great place for a webcam. E even in tablet mode, it's still kind of awkward. 
so not a fan of that. Overall though, I really kind of like this computer. Would I recommend it over something like say the Lenovo 300e Winbook? Yeah, sure, I, I actually would. I, I think this is a good computer. I don't care a whole lot for name brand. Uh, the biggest thing you get with a name brand like Lenovo is it's a lot easier to find support. If you feel like you might not need support for a computer though, then going with something like this I think is totally fine. The other nice thing about name brand is being able to find accessories or chargers or something like that, but because this charges via USB-C, you don't really have to worry about that. You can find a USB-C charger just about anywhere, so you're good to go with this. Well, that's it. I hope that helped you get some more information about this fancy dancy BMAX computer. If you have any questions about it, feel free to write a comment. I will try to answer it below. Thanks.